Hello guys and welcome to another video about my inventory system. I know that I said that I do not want to make any further videos about this series because it's basically finished, but I read like 10 comments asking how to set up custom meshes for your pickup actors based on the assigned item and because I think that's useful for many games I will just very quickly show you how you can do that. Alright, let's jump right into it. The first thing that you will want to do is go to your inventory system, blueprints folder, go to your structures and open up the S item info. Here we want to add some new variables. First will be the static or let's call it the pickup mesh. The type here will be static mesh reference. Then we'll give it a new variable called mesh scale, which will be a vector. And the last variable, which is called interact radius. That will be a float. Set up some default values. So interact radius will default to 160. Our mesh scale will be one in all axes by default and the default pickup mesh you could select the 1m cube here save and then close the s item info after that we will go to our blueprints folder item classes save the bp pickup actor and bp master item then go to the bp pickup actor open up the construction script here and we will drag in the item to add Check for is valid, add a branch by holding down B and left clicking, connect the return value to the condition. So if we've got an valid item class assigned, we will get class defaults of the item, break the item info, expand it so we have access to our pickup mesh, scale and radius. Then let's select the sphere one we have here and let's call that static mesh. Also hit that yellow reset to base material arrow here. And we will reset the sphere mesh as well. Okay, compile and save. So if our item to add class is valid, we will drag in our static mesh and set mesh. The new mesh will be the pickup mesh. Afterwards, we will drag off of our static mesh and get material at index zero. So the material assigned to that static mesh. And we will promote that to a variable called original material. Connect that up here. Another thing we'll want to do is drag off of the static mesh and set scale, set relative scale 3D. We will set that to our mesh scale. And the last thing we want to do is drag in our sphere and set the radius, set sphere radius to the interact radius. Hit that expand button and uncheck the update overlaps. Don't want to do that. Afterwards, we will go to the on hovered function and here, when we set the material of our static mesh, we won't set it to the pickup material, but to the original material. Okay. Then we can close the BP pickup actor. Go for BP master item. Compile and save here. Really important. Otherwise, you won't have access to the pickup mesh, scale and interact radius in your child classes. So I don't have any static meshes in my project right now. So just a very simple trick to add one is to go to the add new, add feature or content pack, head over to content packs and check the starter content, add to project. Starter content comes with some basic props, the SM bush for example, that we can use. Now what we'll do is go to our blueprints and go to the item classes. If you want to change the mesh, for a certain item class, you just want to open up the class. Let's say we take the wood class and we will use the bush. 
SM Bush. Compile and save. Back in your level, you'll see that your pickup actress became invisible. To fix that, just select one of those and you want to reselect the item class because it has to update. So we'll go to stone quickly and then back to wood. I'll do that for the other ones as well, but you don't have to watch me doing that boring process, so I'll probably skip that. Okay, I just quickly reselected all the item to add classes and you'll see that we have our cubes appearing here and where our wood item is, there's that little bush. If we hit play, it will quickly save all the assets and you can see it when we hover over it, it changes the material. We can right click and pick it up and we've got that. Then there is one thing left that I would like to add here. That is if you, let's say we go to the wood class and give it a scale of 5 in all axes, make it extremely large. And then you also want to set the interact radius to something like 500 or so. Compile, save, close the item wood. Again, you'll need to reselect it here. See how large that is now. You can interact from this distance now, but if you right click, we won't pick it up. That's because our player tries to get near the pickup actor, but its collision blocks him, so he cannot reach it. To change that, the only thing you'll have to do is to go to your top-down BP, Blueprints, top-down controller, event graph, and input action pickup command. When we get the distance and compare that to the pickup range, you want to drag off of the pickup actor, get the sphere, get its radius, and here we want to add a max, so we'll get the float that is bigger, either pickup range or sphere radius, and compare the distance to that. Alright, when we hit compile, save now and play, we can right click on our bush and pick that up. Alright, that's it for this little video. I hope you like it and see you in the next part of the quest system series.